let's talk about how I like to apply my foundation. So if you follow me on social media, you know I have rosacea. So I've got extra redness in all sorts of places on my face. I've already done my redness correction. So now the trick is how to apply foundation. And the most important thing is not wiping off what you've already done. I love using a blending brush from Mary Kay. I've used different foundation brushes over the years and this is definitely my favorite because of the coverage level. It uses less product and I feel that it covers better with a more full coverage, which is exactly what I'm looking for with my rosacea. You might think it's a sponge, but it's a brush. Now, you, I don't know if you can see, Look at bristles, you guys. There are thousands of bristles on here, and that's what makes it a great blender. So this is going to give you the most coverage of all of our foundation application tools. Most foundation brushes or application tools, you will put foundation on the back of your hand or on, I like to use the back of a Dixie cup or something like that, and then you dip the brush into it. It's the reverse with the blending brush. You apply the product directly to the brush. Now I am using the TimeWise um, 3D foundation, liquid foundation. I'm using both the matte and the luminous this time of year because when I'm filming, this is March. And I kind of want a little bit of glow to take care of the winter blahs, but not a whole lot. <laughs> so I'm gonna use mostly the matte and I'm using the Ivory W130. You can't read that, just trust me. Um, in both luminous and matte in both formulas. So here we go. I'm going to apply just a little bit. Because I have done redness correction already on my face, um, I don't need a whole lot of foundation. It's barely sitting on top there, you guys. You notice I didn't actually squeeze um, any out. So I'm just going to mix both the luminous and the matte. Ooh, I don't know where the camera is. <laughs> All right, here we go. So I only have a little bit. I don't even know if you can see that. It's not even there's not even a blob on there. The first place you want to put your foundation is where you want the most coverage, which for me is in these cheek areas and my nose and the center of my forehead. Um, and I'm just going to do light dots all over because here's the trick. The more you spread out your foundation before you start blending, the better a blend that you'll get. And so I like to kind of do a little light pouncing all over like that and then use circular motions to blend. Now, I'm not looking for, you know, a glass face look or anything like that. I just want to look like I have skin that matches my neck, basically. Um, and your foundation shade should match your neck, and that way you're not two different colors. You don't have a weird line on your jaw. You should just look like you have good skin. Um, now, of course, the easiest way to look like you have good skin is to take care of your skin. Um, there is no amount of makeup that can cover up not taking care of your skin um, on a daily basis. You probably noticed I went under like this and then up to my eyebrow. That's a little eye lift trick that I like because then it just kind of gives a little lift to my face. The other trick is one of the reasons I like a brush is it blends while it applies, but also you can get around the hairline, the eyebrows, the curve of the nose, the in between the nose and the mouth, the chin and everything, and get a really good blend without ending up streaky. So, and look, I mean, it hardly takes any foundation at all. You do need to keep your brushes clean, which is another video. And of course, anytime I do makeup, I want it to stay. With my lifestyle, I swear by the finishing spray by Mary Kay um, from Scandinavia. Quick and easy, feels like water. It dries down and it's like hairspray for your makeup. You don't even feel it the rest of the day, but it will help it to stay. If you're following along on this entire look, be sure you check out the next step, which is eyebrows.